Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get started with the makeup prep. Um, this is the preparation leading to the makeup session with the male and the female models. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is learn a little bit about our makeup artist and also about all of the tools that she's bringing to the set with her. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and make the, uh, the models up, the first the male and then the female. By all means, you don't have to sit through all of the prep or all of the entire male and female makeup session. You can just fast forward and kind of see what the uh, transitions are happening. And then when you see something happening that you would like to learn more about, you can stop there and learn more about it. But it has been shot live and is playing back pretty much 90% live, which means that we didn't actually edit it for content. We didn't take out anything that's tedious. We wanted uh, people to be able to watch this makeup session and actually apply the principles that they're learning um, in real time on the set and not have to go back and say, well, I wonder if I missed something in between this point and this point. Hey, I am Maria Guarín McAllister, and I am going to do makeup today. All right, let's walk back over there. Is this convenient for you, this table here? Would you like us to move it closer to the set for you? No, it's okay here. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, and red and sweaty. <laughs> I am shiny. I'm so hot. I know I'm hot, but... <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God, I'm hot. Let's try the other one too because oh, it's getting really nasty in here. I don't want all these guys sweating underneath their makeup. That's not good. Get her hair blowing. My hair's in so. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm gonna um, prepare all and set up. So it's gonna be comfortable to put makeup on the actors. Here I have all my accessories for the hair. Water, tonic. This is to seal the makeup so the actor is not going to be sweating and removing the makeup. To clean the hands. Here. This is moisturizes. This is the cleanser. I have scissors here. This is just in case that we're gonna do special effects like for bruises or um, like uh, cuts or stuff like that. This is for the fake eyelashes. It's like, um, mm -hmm. here we have sponges. We have, we need one for each actor. Why would you use one for each actor? It's just for um, hygienic. You have to be. I mean, you cannot be applying makeup with the same sponges because they have like are going to be contaminating each other. And uh, for example, these also, like uh, for the um, mascara or for the lips, you need also one for each actor. Just the idea has been very, very clean because we are like applying directly to the skin. What are those? Cotton. What would you use those for? I use them usually like to clean the face before we're gonna apply makeup. And what kind of, do you use some kind of, what do you just use water or something to clean the face? To clean it? I mean, it depends. If the person comes with makeup on, I have to, uh, first to remove it. I have a cleanser to remove the makeup. Um, but if it's clean already, yes, I just use a tonic. So I'm gonna prepare the face for the makeup. Uh, these are the the I forgot I, the name. <laughs> they look like brushes of some sort. Brushes for the lips, and these are for the mascara. I told you we should use 
a different one for each actor. It's just for I hygienic. I just rather have everything here handily so I don't have to be wasting my time when I'm gonna apply the makeup. That makes a lot of sense. And I have this other one. Here we have them. So here we have all different kind of eyeshadows. I just have I use different brands and, and different um, types of eyeshadow. Here we have different sponges. This is also like it's in case of special effects, like for bruises, also cats or things like that. I have um, fake eyelashes. They are always helpful. <laughs> when would you use those? Um, usually, when you're, when you're keeping like a character that is very sexy, or you want like be very focused on the eyes, and the eyelashes are very small, so they always help. <laughs> All right. You're doing great, Maria. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Put here. I always keep here, like, um, mm, in case that I run out of something, so I have here more of everything. <laughs> this is all I need right now. I have here the eyeshadows. I have different kinds, different types, different brands, just to play with them and depends of the character and when you're going to use them. So, for example, here I have these are smoky, so this is when you're gonna create like smoky eyes, like for mm, very sexy, or if you're like, like the character is going to a club and it's gonna dance and blah blah blah. So, you put like <laughs> dark eyeshadow, and so if it's maybe a girl, so you use these that are like more pink and colors like that. Also, you can like create with this that is. Um, sparkling and can create a different look. So that's why I want to play with different brands and types of makeup. This is just for hair. Different kinds of brush. And um, Why would you use so many different kinds of brushes? It depends on the what are you gonna do? If it's, I mean, if you're gonna blow dry the hair, this is perfect for that. And uh, if you're just gonna make a braid or something, so you use this, or actually to separate the hair. And so it, it depends on what you're doing. I have here um, the blow dryer and curliners and uh, <laughs> put this here. And um, the straightener. This is good to protect from the heat. You can put it here even if it's hot. Oh, okay. So I always is, use this mat, so we're not gonna burn the table and the <laughs> clothes. Um, And these are, this is just the hairspray, so it's very important, especially for movies, because um, when you are working and you are like spending so many, so much time on the set, then maybe the hair is gonna fail and all the style is gonna be messed up. Can I use that word? Yes, <laughs> you can say messed up. Okay. <laughs> so here are the blushes. Here I told you there's like hair accessories. Now I have here all the foundations. These are the concealer. Powder, very important.
Um, so I'm gonna put all this here. Well, that's a lot of brushes. Yes. <laughs> they are for powder and blush. And these are, each of them has a function, <laughs> believe it or no. So we need them all. All right. These are the trimmer for the eyebrows. Let's put it here, so I just want to have everything in order. And we are set to start to put a makeup to our actors. Well, you know, the basic name for it, well, the jargon name for it is a pigtail. It can be called a piggy, or just a, just a, just a basically a, uh, I just call it a pigtail. What do you call it? Pigtail. Yeah. I just, I just call it a pigtail. Uh, I call it a pigtail yeah. too. Yeah. I think the whole world calls it a pigtail. Yeah, it looks, like a, it looks a little bit like a pigtail. Yeah. It's and what do we use that for? Well, you can just use this, obviously. It's, it's similar to a uh, you know, power cord or a surge protector. This isn't a surge protector, but it's just used, obviously, to, to run multiple, multiple uh, electrical devices off of one. And why are we running this? For who? This is going to be for our lovely makeup lady. So she Thank can, you. Uh, run her dryers and whatnot. Yeah, and and all this. this. <laughs> Actually, with this is enough. You got enough. I mean, if I can do it directly, yeah, I just don't enough. know. Okay. Cool. Okay, I'd rather plug this just when I'm gonna use them because oh, okay. it's just for security purpose. <laughs> sure. So we are gonna go ahead and move the table closer to the filming area. So we can actually see Maria applying all the makeup to our models. I would assume you to the right a little bit. There is perfect. Right. Well, yeah, my right, sorry. Okay. Perfect, right. thank you makeup. guys. It's all right? <laughs> thank you. Okay, now we are set. All right. Thank you, You're that's welcome. perfect. Hey, nice to meet you. I What's your name? Introduce myself, Maria. Maria, nice to meet you, Mike. What are you doing there with your hand? Uh, just checking the, seeing where the intensity of the light is at its brightest, just to kind of get a general idea of where the person's head's going to be. You know, just so you can adjust it without someone being in there. But it's it's best to adjust it once the actor's actually in position. Cool. Thank you. So we are moving the air conditioning units a little bit closer to accommodate the makeup and the. Uh, models because it is a very hot day today and as part of set courtesy you're supposed to accommodate the people who are working for you here is all right <laughs> is that a little better oh yeah <laughs> okay good lord it is so hot in here unbelievable <laughs> Yeah, there you go. And maybe all the way over here to the corner. That way it won't blow all of her stuff away, too. Well, she's going to put the heater things no, on there. she's going to put our air conditioners, her uh, hair dryers and stuff on there. The heater? <laughs> I don't think so. The heater thing. <laughs> That's a technical term, didn't you know? <laughs> so what are you doing right now? Making a closed rack. All right. This is how you steer it. So, as steering as opposed to crowding, how does that, what's the difference? Because I think steering. Oh, okay, I see. But with crabbing, it just moves all in just one direction. Right. All right. Moving the uh, quick release plate right now. So yeah, I went. I had a great time. I went to 
swim with the dolphins and everything. Oh, that's at the hollow? Yeah. Same in? You have a quarter? All right. Yeah. Excellent. You know, there's like a kink in that uh, background right behind his head. We need to lower that background a little bit more. Yeah. I, see, I, could, I just moved it, oh, so okay. it's, you it's just working against it? his back and her. Okay, hold so on. This might actually work. I bought this um, float, Any more like floating top bags, from like, this. and I put it on the ocean, and I was like, in time. And I spent literally from nine to five there. Because when I was very hot, I was just putting water. So I never felt the hot. So, and I was feeling because when you have the sun here and you try to get to see if you have the marks, I mean, to see if you're getting tan, you don't see it because the sun is too hot. So I was like, I'm not getting tan, I'm not getting tan. So then I went to their room yeah. and I was yeah, like, this color. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I didn't, I just saw my eyes. It was like black. And I'm like, oh my God. So next day I couldn't move. I was like, Ugh. So the rest of the time I, I went like just to swim and yeah. to do all those things. I went to Pearl Harbor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. cool. Okay, so we have our first actor. Hey, Hello. nice to meet you, Maria. Kevin. So I'm gonna be the makeup artist today. So Raj, tell me, what do you want in this character? Just plain makeup? Yeah, just nice kind of natural makeup for filmmaking. We're not going for anything uh, bizarre or too far gone. We're just going for a very nice natural makeup for this first okay. uh, scene. So it's very important to know that because sometimes you want like, even if it's a man, you want that something special in the character so that uh, the makeup plays a very, very important role in that. So right now, so it's very plain, so we're gonna um, play with that. Um, also, it's very important, the format. If you're gonna shoot it in high definition, you can tell the makeup very, very close. So if it's a man, you don't want anybody to see that the man has makeup on, okay? But at this time, I'm gonna put a little bit of foundation, I'm gonna correct a little bit the dark circles, and um, <laughs> that's it, so let's start. Okay, first I use this tonic, it's rose water, and I use this to clean the face. I'm sorry, are you okay with spraying things? Oh close yeah, yeah, to the it's camera? Fine, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. Even if he just got a shower, I took a shower, <laughs> we have to do this. So we're gonna make sure there is not oil or sweat on anything, so the makeup is gonna stick. So now I take one sponge for him and the, one of these ones. These are for foundation, this is for powder. Um, as I mentioned it before, we use one for each actor. So what I do is that I put the name on here. So we know that this is just for Kevin. So Kevin. I have this brush also for the concealer. And here I have the concealer. What I do is I, I try to pick one uh, color like lighter than his skin. And with that, I'm gonna correct the imperfections or the dark circles also. Uh, he doesn't have imperfections, but <laughs> let's go with the dark circles. You open.
that's also a foundation. This is mouse, moisturizer. How you moisturizer? Say? <laughs> yes. Cool. I always mix it so it's more natural. Can you bring her a fan, one of those? I think I just brought a, one of those little fans over there somewhere. Can you bring her a fan so that she can, yeah, either that or that one right there, that's floor standing fan. Thank you. I can't imagine that's comfortable over there. So the idea for makeup uh, for men is just to correct imperfections and take the shiny out of them, and that's it. You don't want them to look with makeup on at all. So I use this, this is a um, makeup sealer, so it uh, helps us stop in the perspiration and so they don't sweat all the time. I use it before the powder, so it's not going to be shiny. Let's close your eyes. Just mixing the powder here. Relax and close your eyes in a second. Can you open? And 
And then now to finish, I use this also, that's just a cream for the lips, so they are not gonna look dry and he's not gonna look like with lipstick. <laughs> Be like that close. So here. I have the, I leave the sponge always ready with the powder to touch up when he's on the set. I have all his kit here and I leave it here ready and then we are ready for the next actor. Hello. Hi, Maria. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. So, Raj, again, what do we want for Denise? Again, the same kind of a thing. We're just looking for a little bit of a natural look, um, you know, for HD, for high definition. Okay. Hey, Maria, you're going to have to do some magic on me. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I got, a, got bit by a spider, so you're going to have to really do some cover up. Okay. So, we have that. Also, dark circles, a little bit. Yeah. And um, so we have to cover that. First, we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we can't use a lot because it's high definition, so we have to be as natural as possible. That smells good. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> the rose water? Yeah. Is it just plain rose water? Yeah, it's rose water. Yeah. Does it have alcohol in it? No. Look up. Uh, usually, uh, do you want like um, with the hair down or it's like kind of a professional look or what is exactly um, the first one's going to be like a mock interview probably so uh, we probably would want her with her hair up yeah hair up yeah okay we're more professional i mean you know instead of more casual okay okay But like yeah. full time, like eight, man, eight months. You like it? Really involved. <laughs> you have to create a character mm -hmm. or special effects. I like it. But when it's like for a wedding, no, I hate it. <laughs> it's too boring for you. Yeah, I don't do that. But it's good money, isn't it? You pay when bills. you're when you're already, I mean, right, stable in this, mm -hmm. with it, the beginning is hard. Is there one thing that made you want to do it? Is it one particular thing? The money? Yeah. We're gonna, we have to buy an AC no, for tomorrow. Oh, what was it? This is insane. Um, yes. Being in the business? Oh, yeah, I like being in the business, but it hurts. Mm -hmm. It no, hurts? A little bit. <laughs> It's a little thing to do. Yeah. When did she bite you? What she <laughs> Yeah, what did you do one day? She's a she spider. <laughs> and it's cool. Oh my god. Just put tons of makeup on. <laughs> It'll be better. <laughs> okay. I remember when I was really young, like eight. I used to go in my mom's room and just pretend to make a bond just for fun. Spent hours just doing it. Yeah. It was like the art of makeup. And you wear makeup? Do Usually. I? Usually. Mm -hmm. um, just cover up. I've recently been having breakouts. So. <sighs> it's 
I know. <laughs> So now we're mixing the foundation with the moisturizer and uh, that's just for being more natural. If you apply directly the foundation, it's gonna be too heavy. So the camera, especially if it's high definition, it's gonna be very, I mean, it's gonna take it very close. So it's gonna notice that it has a lot of makeup on. Okay. dark. It's beautiful. Thank you. Are you okay with um, trimming the eyebrows or not? Yeah. A little, a little bit. I'm just gonna clean a little bit the eyebrow area. area. <laughs> you saved me the job of doing it. <laughs> uh huh. Anybody need any water or anything where we can get you? No? Okay. What is that stuff? Uh, that's the moisture. Oh, right, that's so you're happy making me say that word. <laughs> Don't ask me anymore. Hey, by the time by the time this day is over, you'll know exactly how to say it. What is that? Moisturizer. <laughs> moisturizer. Got it. Just gonna touch up a little bit the um, bite. My <laughs> spider bite. Sleeping in my bed. Sleeping, no. yeah. oh. You woke up with that? Yeah. I thought he, was, he might have like attacked you while you were getting your mail or something. <laughs> um, first, we do the sealer of the makeup, so all the foundation is gonna stay. She's not gonna be sweating all the time. So. And do you ask them to breathe out when they when you do that, just so that it doesn't? What is that? Uh, sealer, you said? Yes. And does it just lock in the makeup? Is that what it does? Yes. Oh, okay. That's all. So you you just not supposed to breathe out when you spray it? Is that what it does? And because close the eyes, of course. And close your eyes. Now the powder. It smells good. <laughs>
you have to have really good eyesight to get the, uh, mm. the makeup even, right? Mm. And sometimes you have to work with so with light that so bad. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm. With the lighting itself. When you apply it, it's oh. different than the set. So right. then you go to the set and mm, it's really? totally different. Now that we have the skin ready, so we can go to the eyes. So, first I apply like something very natural, like for the base. Closer. have to be doing one eye and another one I, at the same time so it's gonna be even. So what are you wearing for this, you know? Um, I'm not sure if I'm wearing like a brown, I have a brown suit and or a eggplant dress. That's kind of business, business mm -hmm. So. Okay. So, uh, because it's very plain makeup, and because we don't, we're not sure about the color, so we're gonna do very color, a plain color that matches with everything. <laughs> this case is brown. What I'm gonna use? Actually, the crease shadow, okay. you know, my creases, my crease. Because um, the first one you put on, I thought that was the you know, base, uh, the crease, you know, just for the crease. Uh-huh, yeah, this is. This <laughs> one is. Yes. Yeah. Oh. I don't use the other um, liner. That sponges? Oh. No, never. Natural brush for the first time yeah, for So you can play with the eyeshadow also to make eyes bigger or smaller or brighter or whatever. And it depends on the color also. If she has brown eyes, so you want to play with colors and then use colors that are going to take the shine out of the eye. Did I say that right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna use a brighter eyeshadow here, so the eye is gonna be brighter. And also here, so it's gonna look bigger.
now I clean up a little bit because sometimes with the eyeshadow you have powder here and you don't want to see that. Uh, the next step will be the eyebrows, but in this case she has very, very dark eyebrows. I wouldn't paint them, I'm just gonna brush them a little bit. Mm. going to do the eyeliner. Close your eyes. I'm gonna use the first. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Close again, sorry. Mm, closing. very hot so this is melting <laughs> this is so good to play the makeup when it's hot right? it's, it's better good. it's better yeah it's easier yeah when it's so cold it's like everything is it's hard. yeah so why is it better when it's hot it's better because all the how do you say like the consi consistency, consistency. Is is better. It's like um, I don't softer. know how to explain. It's softer. That's the word. <laughs> Pick up again. Mascara. One for Denise, just for her. And this is um, like the foundation for the mascara. <laughs> Look like my nose. Uh -huh. Is that to help the mascara stay on? Yeah. I never use that. And also because um, I um, use a car liner. Uh -huh. So this is better. I mean, I don't want to use a car liner before, after the mascara because it's going to get dirty. Right. So I use this like a base so I can use a car liner. So, because if you use a car liner also without anything, you can damage your eyelashes really yes you do that yes <laughs> i don't even put mascara on sometimes because my lashes are long mm -hmm. so i just you know use the eye curler the eyelash curler mm -hmm. and no you said at least this one i mean that's to curl the eyelashes thank you <laughs> okay. you want to do it yourself no okay. 
Yeah. Mm. It hurts? No. What is it? So this is the eyelashes curliner. Open a little bit. Mm -hmm. It hurts? No. and also with the car lane. So after that, we are going to the blush. I love blush. <laughs> I love it. It's very important. <laughs> yeah. So in this case, I mean, I will use, like, for example, if it's something like a child or something, I will use more pink. If it's more um, serious, I will use more brown. In this case, we're gonna use like the plain, plain. Smile. I ask them to smile so I can uh, have the mark where to start. So it's here. <laughs> then we go to the lips. So first, I think that she has something, so. This is a lips liner, or what is it? Lip liner. Lip yeah. liner? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so sometimes you use the lip liner also to correct when it's like very thin, when the lips are thin, so you can like make them bigger or make them smaller or whatever. In this case, they are just perfect, so you don't have to do much. I always like to mix the lipsticks because there's never a color that convinces me. <laughs> so I always mix them. And I always have to keep them together with Denny's kit, so I know that's the color I use. So when I'm gonna touch up, I know what I 
applied. I'm just gonna clean my hands before I'll do the hair and then after the hair we can just touch up and that's it. So in this case the director wants something very professional so we're just gonna pull it back. Beautiful hair, what do you do? Yeah. <laughs> is this natural? Yeah. I mean, it's natural or straight? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but that's how the photo shoots go. They're like, hurry up, put the makeup on. Okay, now wait. Gotta, gotta yeah, when you're ready. Wait a while we fix the light. Okay, hurry up, change. Yeah, hurry up and wait. Uh, do you... What side uh, do I put my hair on? Yes. Do you do it at side or yeah, always in the middle? No, I always do it. In this side. So here at this point we're going to switch to a lower chair instead of the tall chair that we were using before because when she's doing uh, Denise's hair, it's really hard for her to reach her hair in that, uh, in that particular position. It's going to hurt her back as she's showing you right there. So if we lower the chair, if we lower Denise or any model in this particular case, it's going to be a lot easier for her to actually apply the, uh, the hair uh, treatment. And also what we're going to do at this point is we're going to lower the chimera uh, because we don't want the, uh, the light from the chimera to cast too much of a dark shadow underneath Denise's eyes and her chin. So we're lowering it so we can see underneath her eyelids and also underneath her chin and keep that same consistent lighting uh, that we had before into the, the following phase, which is the, the hair uh, portion. Um, we're also going to move the uh, silver stand from the background. There's a silver stand in the background. We're going to move that out of the shot. And next thing we're going to do is going to take a critical focus to make sure we're back in the focus on Denise's eyes, which is the model's eyes. And then we're ready to go. Are you okay? Yeah. Sometimes it hurts, so <laughs> just yell. Okay. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> so you're used to it. Yeah. Last time. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is just hairspray, so. Gotcha. Usually for movies, it's long days, so we want the hair to stay. If it hurts, it's worse. Sometimes when it's dry, it's better to work with. Because yeah. you can do whatever you want. Get in there, yeah. It's not, it's, it's, a, it's sensitive. But. What? I keep like, thinking I gotta do this because when I do my own makeup, uh. then I know I gotta do the. Anyway. And that's good. It helps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking in my head, will it help her? <laughs> do that. <laughs> <laughs> now we have the makeup done she's pretty and plain makeup so it's not gonna be very heavy for the camera usually if the makeup artist has to leave you have your kit here the powder is already there the mix and also for you so you can do it yourself in case that you need it okay okay now when it's time to go home you have to pack everything again. Very important also to to clean before you go. We have a brush cleanser, and we use this for cleaning all the brushes that we use during the day. This kills all the germs. Moisturizer. to pack all that we didn't use so for the next time Ziploc bags are very good <laughs> great for this <laughs>
You guys, as, as makeup artists, you have more tools than we do, even as filmmakers. <laughs> yes. I like to be prepared for everything. That's incredible. Because sometimes if you say, like, oh, I'm just going to do a plain makeup, so you don't bring, for example, this, right. the, the fake eyelashes or right. things for bruises or things like that. But if something comes up, and, you know, directors are always full of ideas. <laughs> So if they one day, oh no, I just want to bruise and I just want to be ready and help him with those things or help her. Okay, I am ready to go home and it was a very, very fun shoot, okay? So bye.